Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial and today we are painting the Great Unclean One. Yes, this might be the most requested video of all time. <laughs> so I thought, well, might as well get on with it and do it. So without further ado, let's get right into painting him. Now, the colour we're going to be using first is Plague Bearer Flash and this is going to be for all of his skin. Now, what we want to do is just load up our brush here, our medium layer brush that I'm using, so I know how much I've got on my brush. I'm familiar, very familiar with this size of brush. And basically, what I want to just start doing is painting it all over, all over the skin. Now, he's got lots and lots of folds, so it's actually quite easy to do this. You don't have to be super, you know, methodical and careful. Well, of course, it does help. But because he's got so many folds and he's got quite organic textures all over, this will just go on quite nicely over the top of the wraith bone. Just make sure you work it into all of those folds and gaps and boils and sores and all that good stuff. Just like I'm doing here. Now don't worry about avoiding any of the kind of open sores and things. We still want to put this plague bearer flesh all over those as well. Because it will help with the finished article. So with that done, you should have a great unclean one that looks somewhat like this, which is pretty cool. But what we are going to do now is we're going to make it look a little bit more green. And what we're going to do is going to create a roughly two parts Lamium medium to one part Militarum green. We're not using contrast medium because contrast medium, whilst it is perfectly acceptable for this task, Lamium medium gives it kind of more of a thinned down watery aspect. So it means it runs into those recesses just that little bit more. And this is kind of where we want to focus. So what we're going to be using is we're going to be using this Militarum green mix now, just on the darkest areas, such as right there on that kind of scaly skin there. Then we're also just going to add some streaks of it like this and some of the deepest folds. And we're not going to do this everywhere because we are going to use another green after this to create even more variation. And what we've got now, and this way we'll have a really unique looking, great unclean one. see just picking out areas like so
So with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take a roughly three parts Lamia medium to one part Creed camo mix. And we're gonna use this as our recess shade. Now, what we're gonna do is much like we did with the uh, Militarum green, only this time we're getting much more controlled. We're just gonna be adding this to the deepest recesses across all of the model. So we've got those areas that we've done that Astra Militarum, Astra Militarum, Militarum Green. And we've got the bits that are still Plague Bearer Flesh. Just gonna be adding this over all of them. Just like this. So with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna use some Gilliman flesh and we're gonna use this for any tears in the skin. So kind of like this big one here on the belly. What we want to do is we want to use the Gilliman flesh firstly on the kind of fleshy innards. So for example, this one on the belly, We've got this one here, like this. Like that. But what we also want to do so you want to use this, it's kind of like a little bit of a blending exercise around the outside. So for example, over the top of that Plague Bearer Flash show, around here, I'm going to add this in, like this. I'm being quite liberal here with the amount that we're putting on. Like that. And then what we do is we wash the brush. And then just where those colours meet, we're just going to dab away at it soften out that transition. Wash the brush. And do that again, just to make sure that there's no like hard transitions around that skin flap. And we're basically just gonna build that up. So just there, add this Gilliman flesh, like this. As you can see, still being quite liberal with it. Wash the brush and then smooth it out. Like so. So you just want to go around like this, around all of these sections. And then we'll come back. So with that done, you should have a great unclean one that looks somewhat like this. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take some Nasdreg yellow. I'm gonna use it to do a couple of different things. So the first thing we're gonna do is over the top of where we've added that Gilliman flesh, we're gonna add this Nasdreg yellow over the top of those inner guts. So just there, make them look nice and putrid. Like that. Like that. You can also just overlap just a little bit. Like so. Like that. What we're also going to do with this Nasdreg yellow is we're going to use this to pick out any of the large boils and things like that. So we've got just here on the tummy, got this one here. We're going to add this Nasdreg yellow over the top of. Just 
just like that. Also got his nipples. So with that Nasdrag yellow applied, you should have a great unclean one that is starting to look something like that. It's, it's looking pretty cool, right? So what we're gonna do now is gonna use some shinyish purple. I'm gonna use these on the belly sores. And by belly sores, I of course mean belly wounds because we've got the big guts here. And I just wanna get the shinyish purple all over Just like this. It's on this one and in here as well. Like that. So with that shyish purple applied, as you can see. It's still drying, but that's okay, because what we're gonna do is move on. And the color we're gonna be using next is the lupus pink. I'm gonna be using this for all the sinewy areas in those gaps. So we've got this one here on the arm. Like that. We've got the two back here. There. So with that done, what we're now gonna do is gonna create a roughly two to one mix of Gilliman Flesh and Volupus Pink. I'm gonna use this to paint in all of the tentacles. So we've got some tentacles here, just poking out of his chin. So with that done, we are very close to being able to do some highlights. What we are gonna do though, before we do that, is we are gonna take some Gilman Flesh and we're gonna work on the face. Now, with the Gilman Flesh, what we're gonna do is gonna paint this all over the top of his lips.
just love this. And with that done, we're then going to make a roughly two parts contrast medium to one part Volupa's pink mix. I'm going to paint this over the top of the bottom lip. And with that done, we're then going to use some Creed camo. I'm going to use this to paint in some darker green patches on the on the face. So, for example, the bottom eyelids. Like that. here across the brow and in the nose and with that done we're then going to take some agaros dunes i'm going to apply this to his teeth Like that, and we're also going to apply this over the top of the horns. So that done, it's now time to add some highlights. Now, the first one we're going to make is a roughly one-to-one -one mix of Ogryn Camo and Deepkin Flesh. And this is going to effectively give us a very similar colour to what we've got now, but it's great for kind of just clearing up any kind of overlaps. And, well, it just adds another layer of green to all of our skin. So, what we're going to do with this mix is we are just going to start picking out all of the large areas just avoiding the recesses. Just like this. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to give all of the skin a very, very gentle dry brush of Screaming Skull. And we just want to be very, very gentle here as we do this. Just 
very lightly catching the skin. And so with that done, the skin, the tentacles, and all the boils are pretty much there. There's a couple of extra things we're going to do, but we're going to save those to the end. So what we're going to do now, is we're going to work on kind of highlighting up the uh, the guts. So the colour we're going to be using first is Cadian Flesh Tone. Now this is going to look a little bit weird, but what we're going to do is we're just going to pick out certain areas with the Cadian Flesh Tone. Which has the little boils on. On the guts. And then add a few highlights here and there. With the Cadian flesh tone. With that Cadian flesh tone applied, what we then do is take some Fenrisian grey. We use this to add some little spot highlights here and there. Doesn't have to be much rhyme or reason to this, just to create a little bit of variation. Just like that. And so with that done, what we then do is take a roughly two parts contrast medium to one part volupus pink mix. And we're gonna add this over the top of all of it. Just like this. So with that done, the guts are pretty much there. What we are gonna do now though, is we're gonna take some blood for the blood god. I'm just gonna use this straight out of the pot. And we're just gonna add this over the top of those sinewy bits. Just like that. So 
similarly in there as well. Like so. And then what we can also do is we can add a little bit of it in to the guts as well. So with that done, what we're now going to do is going to create a roughly two parts contrast medium to one part wildwood mix. I'm going to use this to paint in the kind of blendedness of the horns and the large teeth. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this mix, I'm going to start at the tip of the horn, and we're just going to start painting it down like this, coming to around about there, just like that. So we're happy with it. Then what we do is we wash the brush and just with a clean brush, smooth out that transition just a little bit like that, just by dabbing away at where the colors meet. And then we're gonna do the same thing again on the other side. So we're just gonna take that wildwood, bring it all the way down to around about there. Like that, wash the brush, and then just on the starting there, we're just gonna smooth out that transition. Just like that. We wanna do this on both sets of horns. And so with that done, just whilst we wait for it to dry, what we're going to do is we're going to take some wild wood on its own. And we're going to use this on the toenails and on the fingernails. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use that same wildwood mix from before, two parts contrast medium to one part wildwood, and we're going to use this to finish off the horns. So what we're going to do is much the same way as we did before. So we're going to start towards the top, and we're going to come down to about halfway of where we've applied it. Wash the brush, and then smooth out the transition. Just like that, so you get this lovely transition through to the darker brown. And with that done, what we're then gonna do is we're gonna take some Saigor Brown, a very small amount. And what we want to do is we want to use this on the tip of the horns. Like that. Going down to around about there. And then what we do is we wash the brush. And once again, we just soften up that transition ever so slightly. 
like that. So with that done, the horns and teeth are now finished. So what we're gonna do quickly is take some snake bite leather and we're gonna apply this over the eyeballs. Like that. And with that done, we're then going to take a tiny amount of Flash Gits Yellow and add this as a dot right in the middle. Of both of the eyes. So with that done, the skin, the face, the mouth, the horns, tentacles, and all that kind of stuff is now finished. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move on, we're gonna paint in this, well, <laughs> loincloth, let's go with that. Now the color we're gonna be using first is Flesh Terra's Red. And what we wanna do is we just wanna load up our brush here and start painting this Flesh Terra's Red all over the top, just, like this. Getting a nice smooth coat here by just using these big broad brush strokes with the flesh terror's red. And so with that done, what we're then gonna do is gonna make a roughly four parts contrast medium to one part cycle brown mix. I'm gonna paint this all over the top. Just like this. So with that done, just whilst we wait for that to dry, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move on to the metallics. And the color we're gonna be using first is Iron Warriors. I'm gonna be using this for all of our silver details. So this is gonna include the bile blade. And if you built your great unclean one with the bile sword, it would include that as well. It's also gonna include the bell, aside from the decorative features. as well as the chain mail on the back. But any other parts you want to be silver. And with that Iron Warriors applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some thin down Balthazar gold. 
going to use this to paint in our remaining metallic details and decorative features on the weapon, on the bell. Anywhere else we want to be gold. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is going to take some Gilliman flesh. I'm going to use this to paint in the skin of all of our nurglings. So I've got four, I've got one, two, three, and four. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start slapping this Gilliman flesh all over. Just like this. So with that done, what we're then gonna do is we're gonna use some wildwood. We're gonna use this to paint in all the horns on the nerglings. And with that done, we're then going to use some Volupus Pink. We're going to use this to paint in all of their little tongues. And then next up, we're gonna use some Nasdreg yellow to color in any of their guts. Like that. Anyone if there's any boils. And then next up, I'm going to use some Flesh Terrors Red to paint in this little guy's cape. All right, that done. We're then going to use some Thinned Down Iron Warriors Painting any other metallic details. This is included a little armor piece here. It's a bracelet. <laughs> as well as the flail that the other one is holding. And then next up, we're gonna take some Black Templar. I'm gonna apply this to the Plague Sword. 
that our heroic little nurgling is wielding just here. And so with that done, all of our base coats on the Nurglings are now on. So what we're going to do is we are now going to put on our final base coat, which is going to be for this skull here, as well as the skull on the bell there. Now the colour we're going to be using for this is Basilicarum Grey, as these are, as far as I can make out, rocks. <laughs> so I'm going to get this Basilicarum Grey all over. Just like this. And then we'll come back. So with that done, it is now time to add some shades to the miniature. Now the first one we're going to be using is a roughly one-to-one -one mix of contrast medium and basilicana grey. And this is just to make sure that it flows off the brush nice and smoothly. Now we're going to be using this on all of the silver and also we're going to be using it on some of the kind of, some of the uh, Balthazar gold, but not all of it. So for example, this little ram's head here, we're not going to be doing that, nor this part here on the file blade. We're not going to be doing that bit or this bit here. So the decorative features really. But the rest of it we are going to be doing with Basilicarnum Grey. So on the blade we're just going to start getting this all over this section here. Like that. All over that silver as well. Just like this. As you can see, having that little bit of contrast medium in there really makes the paint flow nicely. Just like this. So with that done, what we're now going to do is going to take some Gilliman Flesh and we're going to use this to shade those remaining bits that we haven't done yet. So that ram's head there and the decorative features on the bell, as well as the pommel of the bile blade. Just like that. So with that done, our great and clean one is, well, fully shaded. And well, you could leave it there. You absolutely could. And we've already done quite a lot to make him very much beyond battle ready. But what we are gonna do now is we are gonna do some highlights on all those details that we haven't quite finished off yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start back here on that loincloth. And the color we're gonna be using first is Mephiston Red. Basically what we're gonna do for this we're going to use this as quite a wide highlight, just kind of picking out all of the raised areas and folds. On the cloth. Just like this.
And with that done, we're then gonna take some Evil Sun Scarlet just to finish it off. I'm gonna do a much narrower highlight here on just the sharpest points. So for example, that little fold there. I'm also gonna add a little bit like that. And just here as well. So with that done, our loincloth is now finished. So what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly put our great unclean one to the side. And what, what we're going to do now is we're going to work on that bell. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to brighten up that silver before we darken it right down once again to give it that really grimy, rusty, disgusting, horrible feel. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a really old butt brush, and this is an old, old medium base brush that I've got, and then we're just going to snip the ends off. As you can see, this one's already red from, well, quite a lot of use, because what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be stippling. And this is gonna give us a perfect stippling brush. As you can see, it's already nice and splayed out. And well, as I said, just use a pair of scissors to just snip the end off until you've got quite a short brush like that. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some lead belcher on the brush, like that. And then on a bit of tissue paper, we're just gonna start stabbing into the tissue paper like this until it starts looking like how we want, which is sort of roughly like that. Then we put that tissue paper to one side, bring up the great unclean one once again, and then on the silver parts of the bell, we're just gonna brace it with my thumb, and then we're just gonna start stippling this all over the bell. Now, it doesn't matter too much if you get some of this on the shaded Balthazar gold. Now we've actually run out of paint there. So what we're gonna do is once again, just grab a little bit of that lead belcher on our brush. I'm just gonna once again, stipple it into the tissue paper, just wipe off any excess, put that to one side, and then once again, With that done on the silver, we're now going to do the same thing again on the Balthazar goldy bits. And the colour we're going to be using this time is Rune Lord Brass. So once again, I'm just going to jab this into that tissue paper like this until I'm happy, like that. And then on the Balthazar goldy bit, I'm just going to start stippling that Rune Lord Brass. over the top. So with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna add that grime and that horrible grottiness to that bell once again. And then we're gonna be using two colors for this. We're gonna be using Basilicanum Gray and Wildwood. Now I've got them both on my palette here because I want to kind of be able to just go back and visit them and not go into the pots because, well, it doesn't matter if these two get mixed up, but we do have them both separately. So firstly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some Wildwood and I'm just gonna start painting it over a section like that. 
Then what I'm going to do is just go straight onto that palette and grab some of the Basilicanum Grey and add that next to it and mix the two colours together. Like that. Then I'm going to go and grab some Wildwood. I'm going to add another pile of that just there. Like that. Go straight to the pile and grab some Basilicanum Grey. And again, just adding it all over there, getting it nice and dirty and old and horrible. Wildwood. Silicon and grey. Have some wildwood. As you can see now we've got this really ancient looking dirty horrible bell i'm just going to do the same thing on the inside as well So with that done, the bell is nearly there, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move on to the bile blade. Now the color we're gonna be using for this is lead belcher. And basically what we wanna do is we wanna just start picking out the edges like this, quite a wide highlight, like so. And then also, on the sort of wide open flat areas, what we want to do is we want to just start picking out the flats of the blade like this. Doesn't have to be perfect. What we do want to do is just avoid anywhere. Where that shade is really settled. Just like this. And so with that done, what we're then going to do is going to take a really small, tiny amount of wildwood, not very much at all, and we're just going to build up some dirt in and around these pock marks and in the deepest parts of the blade. So like that, and then around any curves. Like that. As you can see, you only need a tiny, tiny amount Just like that. So with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some thin down hashet copper. I'm gonna use this to highlight all of our remaining Balthazar gold bits. So with that hash that copper applied, what we're then going to do is take some skull crusher brass 
I'm going to use this to add a little spot highlight on the sharpest points. that done just to finish off these areas including the bio blade the male and the bell what we're going to do is going to give it a very gentle dry brush of storm host silver like this. So with that done, all of our metallics are now finished. So what we're going to do now is going to move on and we're going to start highlighting all of our nurglings and the color we're going to be using is flayed one flesh. And all we want to do with the flayed one flesh is just start picking out all the edges as well as the boils things like that. Just like that. And with that done, we're then going to use some flash gets yellow to pick out their eyes. And with that done, we're then going to take some Screaming Skull. I'm going to use this to add a little highlight to their horns, just to the tips, like that, as well as picking out each of their teeth, like so. And with that done, we're then going to take some Fulgrim Pink and use this to highlight their tongues. And then last, but by no means least, we're going to use some Deepkin Flesh to highlight the little plague sword. If you've seen my Plague Bearers video, this is exactly the same as what we did in that. And in classic war hipster fashion, we're not quite finished. There is one last highlight left to do, which is the skulls made of stone. And the color we're going to be using for that is administratum gray. And there you have it, the great unclean one all finished and looking absolutely disgusting. Yes, he's horrible. <laughs> Perfect model for contrast paint though and a lot of fun to do and very, very quick as well. The quickest of the greater demons and probably the simplest to get such an effective 
finale. I'm really, really pleased with the outcome, particularly those intestines bulging out of his guts. It's really, really, really cool. Really enjoyed this one. Lots of fun to do, and I hope you have fun with yours. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you can now become a YouTube channel member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, just like these absolute bosses have done. And if you just want to shoot me a little thanks, just because you really love this video, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.